Hey guys, um, so today we're going to be doing a nail video to be able to clip their nails and how to clip ferret nails. Now again, this is her second time getting her nails clipped, so she's going to be hard to do. I might record, so I'll have to see. She's kind of like in a sleepy mood, so we might do hers and show how I do difficult ferret nails. And obviously, we're going to do links first. So, you got to get these nails clipped. They are actually very, very long. So, I'm going to show you where to cut them and what not to do when cutting their nails. So, let's go ahead and show you what I'm going to use to clip their nails and small little tips. Okay. Okay, everybody. So... We're going to be using Skin and Coat Supplement. Now there are two ways that you could do your nail. Well, ferret nails, not your own nails. So there is a scruff way where you scruff the back of your ferret's neck and have somebody else clip them. And basically that's usually a two-person job to do if you need help. But to do it by yourself... This is actually some good handful stuff. Now you can use this or salmon oil. Now salmon oil is very, very healthy. I wouldn't give them this too much often because sometimes it's not real good for your ferret. But I use this during the nail clipping and that's like not so often. So I use this during nail clipping. And here are some cat clippers. You can get them at your local pet store or on Amazon or anywhere you can get these. Um, there are sets of these where it comes with brushes and stuff like that. So these are actually really nice. I like them. I can't get the camera to focus there. So we're going to use this for their tummies. So let's go ahead and do links first. And then we'll see what's going on from there so let me go ahead and get links and we'll start the clipping okay guys before we actually start I noticed something before I started putting the stuff on and this is what happens when you don't clip your ferrets nails see the fluff that is actually a breakage and some cotton actually from his bedding got in the nail so let me see if I can get a better look so yeah, that's actually kind of stuck in his nail, but this is what happens when you don't cut them, and it's very important to cut your ferret's nails. Very, very important. It causes them where they don't break, and things like this don't happen. Now they can get caught, so it's actually very, very bad. So please cut your ferret's nails, or this will actually happen. And it's very stressful too when they get caught. So, just disclaimer, please cut your ferret's nails.
That was Lynx. And he got like little toenails everywhere. So, good job. Now, <laughs> this is what they look like after. Now, important thing see the real red lines in there? You cut just above that. Don't cut too short because you can actually make them bleed. And it's actually not good to make them bleed in their nails because it's very, very painful for them. So be very careful when you're cutting them. I don't cut mine all the way short where the vein's at because it keeps them from breaking their nail real, real bad. So as he's licking away of cuteness. Now, I'm going to show Stella Luna, and sorry, this is going to be a rough time right here. <laughs> Linky is actually the easiest one out of mine. Alright, let's do Stella Luna's now. hard to do a ferret that just don't want to cooperate with you but I got her nails all done so that's good they're all nice and done nice and short 
and we'll get her back to Lynx. So let's go put her back in her little playpen. All right, guys. So that was the nail clipping video. I hope it was kind of helpful, even though it was really, really actually hard to do this video because I'm usually like real quick and easy with it. But trying to get the shot and then doing everything, especially this little booker right here, and trying to get every little detail and it's so hard. But <laughs> she still has some of that stuff on there. Lynx is going to help her. <laughs> now, people say it's also bad because they can get hairballs from it. I understand that. But if you brush your ferret daily, I promise you that all the loose hair will get off and it won't cause them to have hairballs. That is actually very important too, so that's a tip. Brush your ferret daily, but be careful. Don't brush them like real hard. Brush them gently. You can scrub them when you brush them. Just make them enjoy it some way. I understand some ferrets won't not like it, but it's also healthy for their coat because it helps with the itching too. So, all right guys, that was the video of the nail clipping video and now they're all nice and nail clip. Just make sure and remember to love your babies at every day and all the time. And make sure you keep their nails nice and clip. Because as I showed y'all what happened to his nail, it's very important to cut your ferret's nails. Even though how struggle it is. Alright guys, say bye to everybody. Say bye. Bye. <laughs> oh, you're so cute. You are like too.